Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Uh, in our last episode we found another campfire and a very unsettling note. Uh, the girls that le were there, that were nude, left thinking I had attacked them. Um, the campsite was trashed and yeah it was pretty uh, it was pretty weird pretty weird stuff um, so now we're going to go fix this broken window um, let's do this do, 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 do. let's see here where am I supposed to oh hello wooden board um wooden board and big it. Oh. Turn. Whoa. That was weird. Okay, cistern. Don't necessarily need to hop over. I don't see any boards there. Um. Wooden board. Cinder block. Nothing major. Okay, cool. So, oh, another wooden board. Cool. All right, going up. Let's fix the window. All right, board up. Cool. I got that window all patched up. Awesome. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, let me clean up a little bit just because singular mind okay Oops, national guidebook class cleaner let's go to soap saw this last time ah, let's just pick these books up and put them all nice tidy patriots huh. okay Death strikes at two. And then eight the hard way. Eight rolled the hard way. Nice. Alright. I think. Oh, thermos. Oh. Manly thermos. It's a manly thermos. Okay. I'm gonna put that. No! Put it back. Put it back. Fine, don't put it back. There. Toilet paper. No, come on. There we go. Okay. Close enough. Um. Alright. Well. Let's do it. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around <laughs> for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh. Yeah, you do that. Okay, well... I feel like I should just hike around just to see what's going on. Um... Can I put this down, please? There we go, okay. Open... Let's just look around, see what's going on around, going on around here. Let's, uh, well, taking a look at the map. Medicine wheel, interesting. Let's 
see, we could go... Hmm. What if we went south? is new. Okay. Very cool. Alright. Okay. One, two, three, four. Map. Another note. Um, Ron really wish the powers that the U.S. radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep thing, uh, keep things pen and paper. But every once in a while, I've been asked to get a hold of you right away. Sir keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she guessed that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of uh, fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Okay. Toilet paper! Old toilet paper. Okay. Jane R. Okay, whoops. One chance to die. Um. Pine cone. All the pine cones. Nope, nothing else? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just throw this back in here. And we'll just close this up. Okay. Maybe... Hmm. Right. Cottonwood Creek. Okay. Explore a little bit more here. get stuck in some leaves and branches. North, and then this is south, this way. So in theory, I could be able, I could go there, but I don't think I'm supposed to. At least not yet. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. Good. Now get to work. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, let's get from day three to day nine. That's a thing. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Uh, I might never leave. Well, uh with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, crap. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth mentioning. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. <laughs> Alright, Henry, thanks. 
Enjoy the sunset. Oh man. Day fifteen. Oh, that's not good. Oh god. That's Henry? not good at all. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh okay. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh <laughs> Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. <laughs> Bye, baby. Ah, oh, man. I can't. Oh, this game. Okay. Hike north to Is it too much supplies. of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm, you know, my jerky. sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Wow. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, so, knowing a little bit so, more... So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. Oh, sad. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, mm. uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, Javier. He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, that's nice to know, at least she... Oh, man, that sucks. At least she's trying to get to know me a little bit better. Oh, this is the supply cache I ran to earlier. Hmm. Wait. It was the same supply cache I'm thinking about. Oh, cool. Surprise for two forks pickup. 
mine. The other one, no. I could take it. Mm. Mm. Oh, so tempting. I could take all of it, couldn't I? I totally could. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Let's just... Alright. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> I was tempted. <laughs> Super tempted. Oh, God. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. The big fire, the flapjack fire, or Delilah. So no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. He'll oh, probably God. ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. That's great. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? Skinny dipping? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Mm. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and yeah. make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Got a little tequila. Uh, ooh. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Oh, man. That last option, I would if I was with you. Ugh. That, <laughs> that could have sparked something. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. <laughs> I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. Wow. Oh boy. Mm, yep. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Wow. Uh, this is getting uh, complicated. Real quick. You're going fishing, fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Great, a bear. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. 
can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Hmm. What's... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. I don't you didn't have find any weapons. And eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Radio. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? <coughs> oh God. Oh, that's not good. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I. I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't, what Crap. the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. Huh. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind mm. that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Hmm. I'm gonna die out here. I'm gonna die out here. Remember saying in one of my previous episodes that I don't like hiking in the woods by myself. That is the reason why. I just got knocked out. Totally could have been killed. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'm still kind of looking around for like bear tracks and stuff. Just to see. Am I even going the right way? Like, what am I? Where am I? Okay. So. Oh, I'm not even. Okay. I need to go back this way. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. What is happening? Um, oh, rope.
down. Now, the question is, is somebody specifically after me? Or... What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Uh, or is it just somebody out to get, like, the lookouts? Super weird. Um... What is happening? I mean, they could have killed me if they wanted to. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Hmm. More loose stone. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see about that. Exciting, I don't know, is the right word. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I found a key. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. PD, alright. Well. Yep. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <laughs> hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Oh, uh, hopefully so. Let's see... Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. Okay... I'm guessing that's... oh man... Is it really all the way back down there? Okay. Hmm. This is getting weird. I half expected this rope not to be here when I came back. <sighs> nope. Like I said, I'm waiting for some sort of, like, shock or scare when I climb up, up over something. It's gonna happen. Hmm. Man, that guy knocking me out just really... Jesus. That was weird. Weird, weird stuff. Okay. Unfortunate. I was hoping to catch some fish. Ah, oh, the music. It's super peaceful. Makes me think something was about to happen. Okay. Nope.
lot of climbing. <clears throat> Alright, so back to where I mean kind of around where the uh, the campsite was. The last campsite was. some sinister stuff going through my head like I'm wondering if like the girls got like killed and then now like the body up oh. wait oh I didn't take that last time that's my bad um, I'm just going to actually what's the name Mitch Michaels Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Maybe he's the guy who's... who knows. Alright, so we're going to just go like this. We're going to close this back up. Because I forgot to close it last time. One organism trees. Hmm... I think I'm going in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, I was supposed to go down there. Whoopsie. My bad. Alright, well. Anyways. Um. I am going to call this episode good for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, oh, man. Getting knocked out in the middle of the forest was, uh. It, I mean, it scared me. Honestly, like, I, like, I jumped in my chair a little bit <laughs> when that happened. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.